Hi everyone, Anthony Cummins here. Now it's book review time. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to review the Takeda Shiden, uh, sorry, Takeda Shinobi Hiden by Serge Mall. And then if you don't make it to the end, I'm going to do Hey Ho, You Can by um, Eric Shahan. Okay, so stay for the end of that. Right, okay. The reason this is a little bit exciting is because um, back in the day, there's literally no shonen keys were translated, no ninja manuals translated. There was one in German about 2007, so that was way after my uh, sort of ninja days, if you know what I mean, as doing a ninja hand to hand combat. So we produced the shonen key in English, and a slew of people did it straight after us. One of them beat us to it simply because I um, advertised way too early. And I got an email saying, uh, Anthony, somebody's trying to translate the German French one into the English. And, and they did it in fairness before us, which is fine. Um, but it did take a bit of our thunder away. Um, however, since then we've done loads of uh, Ninja Scrolls. We've translated quite a lot of stuff since then. Probably thousands, we're in the thousands of pages now of Shinobi Manual stuff. Uh, and I've been waiting for someone else to translate real Shinobi Manuals. It's just not happened yet. Uh, people have translated old books, people have translated sections from old books which are sections from ninja manuals things like that but nobody's done a ninja manual so i'm like okay serge mall has done one i like serge mall's work i think he's very good so here we are i was like takeda shinobi hidem i've got a copy of this scroll i've only got a digital copy so i've got it when i got it i um i asked miyako like let's go through it miyako i do this with every scroll and she takes two hours to quickly read through and just get a, an understanding of what it is it seemed like a normal, a normal ninja scroll. It was, you know, I was happy to get it, but it wasn't blowing me away ninja scroll, but it was still a cool ninja scroll. Um, but so before I delve into this, guys, I just want to say I'm a little bit disappointed, to be honest, a little bit disappointed. I normally always give a positive and a negative review on things, but on this, I'm afraid I have to give the negative a little bit for, uh, first and a little bit more, simply because I was expecting to get a translation of the scroll in question. So I was like, yeah, you know, wow, fair enough, he's done loads of work around it, that, that's perfectly fine. So, uh, so I'm looking through the table of contents and we get to fire, which is the fire chapter, and it's like, wow, the Takeda Shiden, uh, Shinobi Hiden. Uh, right, excellent. Um, it is actually called Igoryu Kokoryu Shinobi Hiden, and it's a ninja scroll, there it is, you can see pictures of it. And I'm like, here we are, a translation, fine. Oh, it's not a translation. What? There's no translation. I'm like, are you are you joking? So I'm like, Where, what have I bought? So me thinking I've bought a translation of a ninja manual with like, you know, historical research, totally wrong. There is no translation, guys. He just talks about it a lot. It's like, in the, in the Igoryu Kokoryu Shinobi Hiden, it says, not a translation, just paraphrases some bits. And it also says this, and this is like, what are we doing? I've bought a ninja scroll. So normally I wouldn't mind, but this book, literally you have to be a pirate to afford it. It was 61 pounds. What's that, about $100 to get it to my house. So I have bought a book that talks about a ninja scroll, but doesn't, doesn't translate the ninja scroll. So that, guys, was a little bit disappointing. I was like, oh, right. So I have actually tried to contact Serge Mall on multiple occasions, but like everyone else, they just avoid it. Um, you know, you could say nobody, I don't know, I want to work. I've, I've tried to integrate with him, do like book reviews for him and he does book reviews for me. That's what I've tried to do. You know, basically as I did back in the days when I was trying to, um, what is it, uh, unify the ninja community. All that's gone now. I've got rid of all that. Chris the Dean, Serge Mall, all the ninja people uh, just... You're either into it or you're not. And if you're not, then off you go, guys. So uh, I was really happy to hear about Serge Moore doing this. So let's crack on with the book then. But obviously disappointed when I got it and it wasn't there. But Takeda Shinobi Hidem. It's a lovely book. As always, his books are self-published. He is the editor, I assume. Um, it's hardback, which... 10 million points Serge Mall, it's always the best to have him in hardback. He's got his own company, it's a well laid out book, it is really well put together, it's clean, it's neat, it's nice, it folds nice, it's all it's all great as a book. Um, now, the, let me quickly do the contents for you. Basically he's done it in wind, forest, um, fire and 
Mountain, which is the, if you know, the Takeda banner, is uh, that's a play on the Takeda banner. Uh, he's found the Igoryu Kokoryu manual plus um, one for chain and uh, scythe manual. Now, um, I think it's awesome that I think he's got two copies. There is that brilliant that that is awesome. At least we know where two of them are. They're about eighteen hundreds. Now, is the manual good? I don't know. I can't tell you. I just I've heard about it by, from third person, so I don't really know what's in the manual. So I went through all his. Um, he's got a massive amount of information in here, guys. He's got loads of information on which Takeda people are doing this, they're doing this. A lot of it's from the Koyo Gunkan, which is brilliant. And if you don't know that, it's like a semi-historical, semi-fictional... There's a debate out, basically. Is the Koyo Gunkan real or not? And it's a case of... It was written later, it was written about Takeda from some of his retainers. Uh, I don't know too much about it, but I do know, like everything in history, if it's written after the date, it's written uh, maybe, I'm not sure exactly how far after, but possibly not by people who were there, you know, or it might have been embellished. There's a lot of sub-arguments about it. I would love to have it translated so I could read it. Uh, that would be awesome. So, if you love Takeda stuff, or if you want to know about the history of the Takeda clan, wow, this book is mint. It's like, you want to know about the history of the Takeda clan? Perfect. This is awesome. Uh, his ninjutsu around it, yeah, he's gone through the Koyo Gunkan. He's pulled out lots of different bits of the ninjutsu, or not purely ninjutsu, but deception. He's pulled out lots of deception, which isn't always ninjutsu, but it's definitely along those lines. Uh, he's gone through different manuals. He's got quite a lot of, you know, background research. It's awesome. I've, like, remember guys, I'm dyslexic, so my spelling is absolutely atrocious, and my grammar is atrocious. I came from that generation where they said, let's try and not teach them grammar. And it's like, mm, and that failed, and like, later on they started teaching everyone grammar again. So I'm basically double problem, but even I found mistakes in this. I found, like, things on, like, yeah, I think that's a spell checking error there, or the computer said no and gone to somewhere else. So I think it needs another edit to go through it, but that's only a small criticism. Um... As always, he's done a phenomenal amount of research. We've got some of the um, his, some of the magical things, the religious things, which he's very, very good at. He really is, uh, especially his book, Invisible Armor. I love that book. So you can see he goes through all the different stuff here. Um, uh, now, but to the main problem, apart from it not being a translation on what you think you paid for. Uh, the main problem is this, is he thinks the Takeda Shinobi Hiden, the Igoryu Kokoryu Shinobi Hiden, is actually, it, it predates the um, Gunpo Joshu, and he claims it's from the 1500 Sengoku, which is massive claim, that's like, he doesn't say this outright, of course, he actually says it's an 1800 scroll that he's got, um, there are no earlier copies of it, which he admits, um, but he th and it clearly has extracted things from the Gunpo Joshu, like clearly extracted things from the Gunpo Joshu. But he's saying that he believes it's the opposite, and the Gunpo Joshu of 1612 to 1619 um, actually um, took from this scroll. Then this scroll went missing and is recopied later on, and the original has been destroyed, and only the copy remains. That is a bold claim, to be honest. That is like, and even he himself says that's just a claim. But even though it's just a claim, his entire book is based on that theory. Now, to me, and he's sort of like claiming it's the the ultimate ninja scroll. Now, for those who know me, I love the Shonen Kit and I love Nato Ryu, but I would never try and predate it to that, and I would never try and push it beyond what it actually is. So, his theory is possible it's a possibility i'm not denying that and i because I, I don't speak japanese i don't read japanese i can't see the original scroll or at least a decent translation of it to analyze it and say well what about this what about that what about this and that usually is the way you can say oh that that isn't right and that's not right or that would be later so i wish i had a translation of it then i could comment on that but i don't so i can't so uh, just so you're aware he believes it predates the Gumpo Joshu. He believes it predates, like, um, Seki Kahara. So he thinks this is, like, the oldest Ninja Scroll in existence. And he owns it. Which I think is a little bit 
Uh, I, own, I own a digital copy and I am not I am not of that thingy. One day we'll get to translate it. One day I hope to translate and put it out there for you guys when the team's got enough time. Uh, right, but what do I think about it in the end? I think if you are a shinobi nutter like myself, if you're absolutely nuts on it, get the book. It's expensive, it's difficult to get hold of, um, it is actually really quite difficult. You have to go to his website, put in a request, the request comes back, he then gives you a method of payment. And in the end, they just came. The, his own website took three weeks or two weeks to get back to me. And they said, please try this other website, the only one other website. I'd already ordered it and received it by the time they'd even replied to me. So uh, it's a ball ache to get, it's expensive. But if you're not fussed on money, you've got money, and you love Takeda or you love Shinobi and you want another bit, get it I would get it and I did get it but just be careful uh, if you want I would definitely trust his historical research it's awesome that the background stuff is brilliant I love the Takeda stuff I love that it's really added to my knowledge but when it comes to the um, place in this manual inside of the history of the ninja I think he's biased I would say no and um, I'm looking forward to anything else Serge Moll has done don't worry I'm not trying to uh, attach myself to this anymore. I don't want to get, I actually once tried to connect everyone and then attach to everyone in the ninja world so we could all come together under that itchy gunny chimi. It just didn't work. So uh, I'm glad Serge Moll has done it. If Serge Moll uh, watches this video, I'm extremely happy you have done it. I just wish you'd have translated it. Uh, to me, this shows that it's not as easy as people think. It really isn't. Yoshie is an extremely intelligent woman. She's been to an end extremely impressive university she translates as a profession in her own life and she translates as an author you know with us she is outright the best in the world i have ever seen yet there are people better there who you know who are doing different things but in the ninja martial arts world she's she's number one for me i'm not just saying that i've literally seen most people so i'd go yoshi a each time but serge if you're reading this uh, watching this come on man let's get a ninja let's get some ninja translations out there Right, Eric Shahan. Now, Eric, I will give uh, loads of points to again because Eric is literally churning out books. He's at the stage where I was at, where it was a case of you were doing self-publish, self-publish, try and get as many out as you can, get it out there, and um, then, you know, build a reputation. And I think Eric's doing that. He's, he's succeeding. This is the hey-ho you can. Um, I have to say, it's paperback, but that's not Eric's fault because you can't do it on Create Space without it being paperback. Um... And when you buy this book, he's, his prices are starting to go up. I'm not sure why, but his prices were reasonable once for the book, and now they're going up a bit too much. Like, he's just released another one, the Yamamoto Kansuke one, and I'm like, that's getting a bit more expensive. You know, obviously I can get it, but it's a case of, this is getting a bit much now, Eric. You know, keep keep them... Because I know how self-publishing works. Self-publishing, they get like four, uh, 50 60% of the money. You get about 40%. So he's getting a massive turnover per book, which you don't need as an author. The idea is get it out there, get a little bit, but sell a lot. That's the, the case. And so he's done this. It's uh, the Paragon of Military Strategy, Volumes 17 to 20, a critique of merit and departing for battle. So basically, it's an old samurai scroll. He doesn't give you much information on it, to be honest. And all I say, maybe I've lost the, but he gives you the, the title. I can't seem to find the date and I can't seem to find any background. He literally goes straight into it. So, boom. Um, Koshu School of Military Science under this guy. I just wish he'd give me more information. Now, Again, it's just so you're aware, if you buy this, this is one third of a book, believe it or not. The reason it's one third of a book is because he gives you original transcription translation. So it's literally one page in three is English if you're reading it. But for a, if you kept the price down a bit more, that's fine because you've got the original you've got the transcription typed up and you've got the english translation wow that's awesome so if you I expect a third of that book and to get through it quite quick but because we did book of samurai and i've read that now it, it was a little bit oh i've already done this because i produced book of samurai last year and that has exactly this information in it if not you know a lot more than this but it was awesome to to sort of read this and think yep that's yep i get that yep we've done that and we can see like uh, the the idea of the samurai building up 
in us that we can see the idea of the shinobi. Do you know what? For years, everybody said, oh, Anthony, you're wrong. It is hand-to-hand combat. Anthony, you're wrong. You're wrong. Well, so it's more pretty much agrees with everything I've said so far. You know, it... The, the image of the ninja as a lower level samurai, as an ashigaru, as part of the military Japanese machine is without doubt the reality. And I started digging this up and there's a few people in the world who knew this, but I started bringing it to the public and they're following suit now and they're agreeing. So all these years of, you know, have paid off because people are now pulling out the books. Now, don't get me wrong, I want people to do this. I don't want to be the only guy doing ninja history. I don't want to be the only guy bringing the truth out. The idea is that I want to be the catalyst so you guys can bring out stuff like this. So Eric's working hard in Japan. He's doing this for you guys. He's got lots more. The problem with Eric is I don't. he doesn't have a website. I don't think or I've not seen it. He doesn't have a Facebook page. There's no YouTube channel. You're like... Who is this guy? It's like Eric Shahan somewhere floating in the ether. You need contact points, Instagram. Even all that stuff's a bit silly. It's like nice to be able to see these people get there and, you know, like you guys are watching this. Right, I've been harping on a long time now, but just to round up quickly, get it if you're a nutter uh, or if you're rich. Uh, it's well, well worth it. Get these if you're interested in samurai law or background, but at least go and find Eric's, anything Eric has on Amazon and find Eric, anything he has on Facebook and try and follow him because Eric is doing some awesome work. He's out there. Uh, he's a little bit too casual in his writing. He's a little bit too casual in his editing, but, you know, you would, like I was talking to John Hater, he was here the other day, if we didn't have Eric doing it, we wouldn't have them. So it's better to have a 90%, you know, polished thing uh, than nothing. So, you know, well done to Eric. And, of course, Surge Malls are very polished. They're awesome-looking books. Right, my name's Anthony Cummins. Um, I hope this has not been too much of a dreary drag for you. Uh, it was a little bit ad hoc, and I've promised to do some um, reviews on those books. Uh, it's not that they're not positive. I think they're, po I think they're great, but there's just... We have to raise that bar and, and get it up a bit and, and keep moving forward. At the minute, I'm working on a new ninja book, and the idea is to put the the bar for me higher and higher so I'm really really trying my deadline is going to be June for this one so get lucky now it won't be out in June that's the deadline so it'll be out probably uh, 2018 but I'm really trying to push it up a bit right guys subscribe uh, I've got loads of books to review so sorry if the reviews keep coming out but people keep sending me stuff right okay so uh, see you later